Hi, my name is Sam Dhanashekaran and welcome to this FL Studio video series. In this video, let us take a look into menu bar, which is this section. Let me keep this video short and precise because most of the options you would have seen in other softwares. First thing first, so it has file, edit, add, patterns and this menu bar uh, that you can see. And uh, one thing is this area. Uh, what this does is when you hover a mouse over any of the buttons, um, generally most of the softwares, they will display uh, what that button is supposed to do there. Whereas here in FL Studio, it will display here. Um, let's say if I hover the mouse here in the pattern selector, it shows I'm on pattern selector. Uh, another thing is uh, you would see this uh, minimize, restore and close button here on the left top corner as opposed to the regular uh, Windows softwares uh, where you know it will be on the right top corner okay so if I click restore you know it goes to its original size and uh, I'm maximizing it and next thing is file okay so you can create a new FL Studio file or you can open the important thing that I want to say here is you can export the uh, final project into an mp3 file or wav file using this option you can also import a midi file okay and then let's go to this edit menu it's pretty standard it has like cut and copy and then let's go to this add menu where using this option channel you can add a channel to a pattern you can add an effect and this shows various plugin uh, options okay uh, another thing is you can also add a pattern using this button so if i want i can add a pattern here okay so i added a pattern okay so the next one is patterns window so you can also add a pattern here um, you can just say find the next empty uh, and then if i click here it will say like now pattern 4 is free so and then you can add give a name and then you can add okay and um, you can rename a pattern uh, you can clone a pattern everything you can also delete patterns from here okay so I'm in pattern now and uh, if uh, I'm the pattern name is test if I want to delete it go to pattern and uh, click delete and you can also see the shortcuts for each and every option so um, shift control delete is delete so right now i'm going to click it so i'm going to delete that so now i have pattern four if i do control shift and delete you know i will be deleting it and uh, um, another uh, interesting thing is this split by channel what this does is let's say you have a pattern and it has like a lot of channels right so if I have data uh, in one channel and then data in another channel and then uh, you know data in another channel, right? So um, it sounds like this. And uh, suppose if I want to sp uh, you know, split each and every channel into its own pattern, right? I don't have to cut, copy and everything. So instead, like now when this pattern is chosen I can go and click this pattern and split by channel so each channel will become its own pattern so this will come in handy like now if you want to split uh, the channels into their own patterns okay and uh, using this uh, view button you can view various options one thing that might be of little bit of interest is you can go and set the image wallpaper what this is if I restore the screen, you see the background, right? So that thing you can set it up. Okay, so options um, we have already seen. You can set the project options like the general settings, audio settings, MIDI settings here. And one important thing that I find useful is uh, auto scrolling. Sometimes I set it on meaning that when this playhead is playing and if it goes out of the window this scrolls automatically and you have this tools menu which i'll talk a little bit later this uh, talks about 
uh, you know where do you uh, store the the plugins and how you can see those plugins and everything so uh, it's it's pretty much general uh, just the unique ones are you can export uh, to a wave an mp3 file you can import a midi file and uh, uh, you can add a pattern in the add button you can add a channel and you can add an effect in patterns you can split the cha split a pattern by the channels okay and uh, view is pretty much uh, standard uh, but if you want you know you can change the background and uh, under the options auto scrolling would be uh, easy uh, some some might prefer auto scrolling okay and uh, that's it so this is the menu bar and we'll discuss about each and every section in the subsequent videos thank you